Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel one more time. My name is Tim Oade. Here's what I'm going to present to you today. Very simple and very, very basic. Today, I'm going to present to you a simple process for setting up a Microsoft Teams student account uh, with reference to Xiwa Technical Training Institutes. Uh, Xiwa Technical Institute is committed to advancing uh, e-learning as one of the strategies for providing uh, accessible education and more convenient and modern learning for our students. So I'll first explain to you how to uh, access our at isiwatech.se.ke email address and further explain how you can make use of that email address to set up your Microsoft Teams student account. So welcome, join me in this brief discussion. Now, where do we start from? We will start by opening uh, kisiwatech.se.ke email address. So you have, if you're a student for Kisiwa Technical Training Institute, you have been provided with an email address and a password. So to open your inbox, I'll advise you use Chrome or any other repeatable browser that you have either on your phone or your laptop. So I've opened Chrome. Chrome is my preferred and default browser. Uh, the address bar, I'll type there gmail.com. Okay, because I use the Gmail platform to open my Siwatek email address. Okay, it's really my email was already logged in. I had not logged or signed out. Now assume you open, you, you go to Gmail and there was an email that had been logged in, had not logged out. You want to log in with your Siwatek email address. Uh, you come to the profile uh, profile picture for the login account. Click on the profile profile picture. That should bring down a drop menu. A menu should pop up this year. Then you do add another account. Okay. When you click on another account, you get a page with a, a text box or a combo box if you like, or you can fill in your email address. So I'll type in my email address, s o r d at isiwatech.ac.ke, and then I click next. After click next, I'll be prompted for the password. Now the password we provided you is a one-time password, meaning once you log in with that password, you'll be prompted to change it to another stronger password. My account was already set it up earlier. I won't be asked to change it. So I'll just put in my uh, password. Uh, of course, I'll conceal it so that you don't crack into my account. Okay. There it is. So I'm logging into my siwatech.se.ke email address so I can access my inbox. Okay. Why am I doing this? It's because when I'll be setting up my uh, account, uh, a code will be sent to this email. So I should be able to open up my inbox for siwatech.se.ke, access that code, and submit that code to Microsoft Teams. So I will leave this inbox open. Okay. So what I'll simply do, I'll minimize that page. And then now 
open Microsoft Teams. I've already installed Microsoft Teams application on my laptop. If you have not, please download Microsoft Teams app and install on your laptop. When you are downloading, you'll be asked whether you want to install for laptop or, I mean, for computer or for mobile. So if you're installing, installing on a computer, please choose install for computer or for Windows. Okay, if you are uh, installing on your phone, then choose install for mobile or download for mobile. So I already downloaded my application on my laptop. It's already installed. What I've not done is to set up a Microsoft Teams account. So let's open a Microsoft Teams application, which I've already installed on my laptop. If you have it on your phone, simply tap the Microsoft Teams app icon on your screen and it will load and open up and give you an opportunity to set up your account. Mine has opened very fast. Okay. This page gives you two options. There's a sign in option and a sign up option. You sign in if you already have an account. Because I do not have an account yet, I will choose the option sign up for free. Okay? Sign up for free. Once you click sign up for free, uh, the app will redirect you to your browser because the sign up page normally loads up in your default browser. So when the setup page has opened up, I'll type here my institutional email address, the email address provided to you by your institution, in my case by Xiwa Technical Training Institute. So I'll type there, assume my email address is uh, nyango18 at Xiwatech dot sc dot ke okay so that's my uh, email address provided by siwa okay it has been captured there so i simply click sign up to go to the next page or site the next site uh, is a site for signing in for office 365 okay so i will again input my college provided email address anyango at isiwatech.sc.ke okay once done that just simply click sign up okay sign up now gives me an option to choose whether i want to sign up for a student account or for a teacher account account i want a student account so i click student i am a student so are you wow i have my profile page already presented to me what do i do i type in my name tim m okay my first name my second name Wade. then i create a password a strong password should have at least one capital letter or one uppercase letter at least a lowercase letter and a numerical character or a number in simple terms. So my password, let me see, maybe something like Steve with capital S 2020. Okay, you confirm it, Steve 2020. Then if this is my institutional email address, and if it is correct, then already Microsoft Teams has sent a code to this email address. I need to access the inbox for this email address, pick the code, and then put it there. Now, assume this was my email address up here. The tab is still there. The inbox is open. I've not closed. I simply click there. I'm able to read my inbox if there's any new mail. If there's none, I can refresh. Okay, refresh. Okay, so if I 
after refreshing, there's a new new email that will appear here. That email will come with a verification code. Uh, when I was setting up my account, this is the email that I was sent. Okay, I was sent that email. Here is the verification code six eight two eight nine seven. So if I was setting up my account, I simply pick this code and uh, input that code here. Okay, say six eight two eight seven nine. Okay, and that was my verification code. And then I'll scroll down. There's a checkbox here uh, to show you an agreement with the terms and conditions uh, of the software usage. So you must check that. And then start. Now, if what every information that you provided was correct and accurate, then your profile will be set up. This page will not appear. Okay, you will now go direct into your Microsoft Teams account. Okay, you can now uh, begin familiarizing yourself with the tools and the features in Microsoft Teams account ready for your first online learning session. Thank you for watching this uh, short guide. In my next video, and I'll invite you to watch out for uh, my next video in which I will be discussing a critical aspect of your account, what we call authentication. So you'll have to authenticate your account within 14 days, without which your account will not be able to run. So I'll show you how to do authentication for your new account in our next, next uh, video. I'll also explain a few tools and features of your new account and how to make use of those tools, and those features and the applications available to maximize your learning experience. If this video uh, was helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel for updates and notifications on uh, other similar educational material. Thank you for watching this video.